So, tomorrow is Halloween, which means we can officially start celebrating in the most horrifically monstrous ways we can. Wahahaha! <laughs> so, in celebration, I'm going to answer the zombie apocalypse tag. This tag was created by Lex, and I'll link her channel and her video below. So, as you may know, zombies are my biggest fear ever. Like, oh my god, they are so terrifying. And the reason for this is the simple fact that the zombie apocalypse could happen. Let me set the scene. An outbreak of a mysterious new kind of flu has been sweeping the planet for months. Animals are dying, birds are falling from the sky, and humans are displaying vile symptoms all over the world. And the most horrifying part? Weird reports are coming from the most remote parts of the world, saying that the dead are rising. Suddenly death is everywhere. No one is safe. Zombies are attacking. No! So, question number one. What's your first priority? I think my first priority would be getting out of the city. Now I don't live in London or a massive city. I live in Nottingham, which is a city nonetheless. I think my number one priority is getting out because you know as soon as everyone's infected, there's gonna be swarms and they're gonna be trying to kill you and there'll be nowhere to hide. Hiding is another good priority and also getting food and water and medicine. So I've got quite a few priorities. I'm sticking with getting out of the city. Question number two, what's your weapon of choice? Now this is a thing, if I lived in America it would definitely be some kind of sniper gun or machine gun or some kind of gun in general but I live in England and gun control is, you know, there are no guns basically. So I'm gonna go for something like a samurai sword off of Michonne. Is that her name? Michonne? 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 You know who I'm talking about. This is a weird thing actually. I was in a seminar and we were talking about muskets because my seminar tutor used to be a British Civil War reenactor. They were saying how they have explosives and muskets and stuff so I think I would go to one of their camp places and steal all their gunpowder and muskets and fight zombies with muskets. So a musket is my weapon of choice? What? <laughs> Failing that, a butcher's knife. But then the issue with a knife is you have to get really close and I just, I'm, oh, ooh. I would just want to run in the opposite direction. I'm not there for close quarters combat, no. Question three, would you be able to kill a zombie knowing that they used to be a human? If they are trying to eat me alive, then yes, I would have no problem killing them straight back. But question four, could you kill a loved one who turned into a zombie? This is harder because I'd like to say yes for the good of humanity, but if I could escape them and just leave them to it, but then would a loved one really want to live as a zombie? But what if there's a cure eventually? You see, I think I couldn't, realistically. I'm just not that violent. Not that it's to do with violence, it's to do with survival. Oh, I hate this question. Question five, if you got bit, what would you do? I don't know. Hide under my bed? lock my doors. I don't know, maybe take cyanide or something. I'm not sure, I think I'd probably kill myself. However, I don't think I'd have the guts to be able to, so more realistically, I would have to just like run away from humanity and just like go into some woods somewhere, away from the population and just curl up in a ball and then become a zombie but not hurt anyone. Question number six. Would you try and maintain society by living in a large group and try and uphold things like law, order and education or would you run away into the wilderness by yourself? If The Walking Dead has taught me anything is that super large groups are always a recipe for disaster. Now I'm not saying I would go away on my own because let's face it, I would survive all of two minutes. If not, that I would just give up and die in a hole on my own. I think the most important thing is getting a group of a few people, I'd say no more than six, realistically. You want a good spread of people with lots of different skills, you want really intelligent people, you want strong people. The intelligence is so that tactics and stuff, and strength is to obviously kill zombies. But you will need to be with people that you trust. People that you already know before the zombie apocalypse are always a good bet, but I would never go back into a city having left to find people that sounds terrible. 
basically I'd give up on society and get a little group and then together we'd be humane like we wouldn't go around killing other humans for their food or anything but we would also give up on trying to you know rebuild society until you know the zombie population has been quelled and those are all the questions thank you for being a part of my zombie apocalypse I feel a bit sick oh there's someone at the door to see who that is <laughs>